Hot today, everybody, and welcome back to the show. Iseng Sung Chamorro Village is celebrating their 20th anniversary this year, perpetuating Chamorro culture and showing locals and visitors alike what a wonderful place Guam is. And we are going to talk to Jeffson Nicholas. He is the manager down there. Jeff, hot today, and welcome. Hot today, Jason. Thank you for having us. All right, and also join me, a merchant, Dr. Marilyn Salas, someone who helped raise me as my auntie. So uh, if, if it's all due respect and everything, I'm going to call you Auntie Marilyn for the remainder of this interview because calling you Dr. Salas just sounds weird. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Happy. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, and happy holidays to you both. Okay, so uh, let's talk about what has transpired in two decades um, of business down there, the evolution of Iseng Song Chamor Village, and like, what has it meant to the community? Well, for those that remember Chamor Village, or prior to Chamor Village, uh, I think it's had different names. Farmer's Market, the Guam Public Market, um, there may be others, and it's, it's a, also the location has changed from places from from what I've you know from what historians has actually um, informed me before we you know before uh, it was constructed to the you know where we see it today uh, right there by the Pasea Stadium um, back in the early 90s uh, there was a redevelopment project a 1990 redevelopment project uh, that I wasn't a part of I wasn't there yet uh, I think I was still probably in school uh, and uh, this was the former um, governor, Joseph Ada, uh, and also the legislature. They had um, uh, created, uh, or they, they were able to find funding to build uh, the facility that, that we see today, which is the Sang Song Chamorro. And the uh, grand opening actually was uh, December 2nd, 1994. So 20 years later, you know, we're now uh, celebrating the, you know, this, this wonderful milestone of, of the things that we've actually done and showcased at the Chamorro Village of our, our local produce, our local products, and activities and showcasing our tradition and cultures of, of the island. Mm -hmm. Now, Auntie Martin, I know you've been um, working there as a merchant for a long time, selling absolutely delicious bananas. You know, um, you do a very good job down there. But how has the dynamic changed as far as Iseng Sung Chamorro Village? Not just being, you know, a place strictly for commerce, but being a big hit and, you know, almost an island institution because everybody talks about, hey, it's Wednesday night, it's time for the night market, there's going to be mm -hmm. music, you know, you're going to meet um, tourists, the military goes there and they really enjoy it consistently and locals go there. I mean, it's a, it's a big cultural event. You know, I don't think anyone foresaw where the Chamorro Village was going to go. You know, after 20 years, look where it is. And at um, you, Wednesday night is a dynamic night, but every night should be the same as a Wednesday night. And so mm -hmm. at this point, we're trying to build a Friday like a Wednesday, but make it more with a theme of history so that when you come down there, it's a historical Friday day event. And um, as a child, I remember going to the Guam Farmer's Market and it was to buy the fruits and vegetables from the local farmers. And you know, today we still have the Diaz's. The generations of Diaz's are still at the Chamorro village, mm -hmm. Iseng Sung Chamorro, selling their produce and also selling cultural arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. So we've carried this forward 20 years later and we know that we're gonna continue to take it to greater heights. Mm -hmm. Now, Jeff, from a merchant's perspective, like, you know, Dr. Salas and, and the other various merchants that have been there through the years and they continue to be there, you know, as tenants, um, you know, it's all, Iseng Sung Chamorro Village has always, always been known as some place where people can buy, uh, you know, good art and they can go there, you know, for a really good meal and things like that. And it has modernized to a certain appeal, but it's a certain extent, but it's never lost its local appeal. It's always had that very grounded, uh, very rooted aspect in, in perpetuating Chamorro culture and everything. How do you move forward while maintaining that identity? Well, you know what, I, I guess it's really about the generations, you know. Um, we've, we've seen certain artwork evolve, especially with a lot of the local products uh, or artworks that you, that, that you see, uh, especially from our masters, you know, and, and what they perpetuated, what they continue. They, you know, they work with, you know, I guess they work with apprentices to continue that tradition. Um, with with a lot of the with a lot of the businesses and the owners that we you know that we see today, um, you know they've they've become very creative in, in, in bringing out just different unique and modern uh, products. You know that uh, you know that uh, you know that that we see today. You know the sanahi. We didn't we didn't really know how the sanahi was actually going to become really popular. Mm -hmm. But you know for those that uh, recognize what the sanahi you know uh, is for, it 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 
uh, or you know what it represents or who it represents. It's it's you know those were used. For, you know uh, you know the Sanahi represented uh, you know those of of uh, leadership. Uh, you know back then. Now it's a nice form artwork that people love to wear and. You know, it's, it's just amazing to see that, you know, you know, grow and develop. And, and it identifies and, and one identifies as Chamorro. Yeah. Correct. And yeah. then, of course, you know, with, with just even just attire, T-shirts, you know, just having Guam or just the significance of certain, um, you know, artwork, even our chiefs, you know, you know things that, we, you know, that uh, people continue to see and, and, and want more, you know, of. Um, you know, you know it, it, it has definitely made a big impact. Um, you know, to you know, you know, for those that want to buy Guam or you know products of Guam, and uh, you know, we're a better place to have that. Okay. Well, thank you so much, both. We appreciate it. Thank You're you. welcome. All right. Stay tuned, everybody. We're back after this.